Hey howdy hey guys, welcome back for more of my Toy Story videos. Now this is a part 2 of Toys That Mattel Needs To Be Made. And recently we did a part 1 where it's focusing on the 6 inch line. Now recently Mattel hasn't really done a lot of the 12 inch toys recently and it's been a shame because they've done some really great toys over the years. And hopefully maybe this could inspire them bringing those toy lines back and also making some new characters that hasn't been made yet. Um, I even did some packaging ideas and you kind of noticed there were some clouds around and I was just kind of going for these retro kind of 995 with the first Toy Story movie. Uh, but a bit of with Buzz Lightyear's kind of space theme so anyway let's get to the list. So over here we got Wave 1. I've got a bit inspired by the collection line so I want to kind of put these all in waves um, but yeah so basically we got Woody, Bo, Jesse, the classic Buzz, uh, Rex and a new addition to the, the 12 inch toy is Zerg. Um, yeah we haven't had a Zerg since the Disney store and even Finkway hasn't made him yet so it'd be pretty cool seeing what Mattel could do with this Zerg. So, Wave 2 will have Mr. Potato Head, um, Mr. Mike, uh, Ham, um, RC, Bullseye, and the Prospector. Now, these are going to be hopefully the accurate size from the films, and a lot of these will talk, uh, especially with Potato Head, but it all kind of depends with the licensing or with Hasbro. So, hopefully, maybe Mattel could work out with something with Hasbro if they can get the rights to like. Uh, get Potato Head made by Mattel. Um, a lot of some of these toys are owned by different toy companies, but these are just sort of wish lists, uh, for example. Um, but yeah, so anyway, all these toys will talk and hopefully be an accurate size. And Mr. Mike will obviously have his working microphone just like in the film. So Wave 3 will have a mixture between films and shows, and we got Utility Belt Buzz, Andy's Robot. Ken and Barbie in a two pack, the green aliens, hopefully going to be squeezable, um, combat cow, and Mrs. Potato Head. So, Utility Belt Buzz will be the same just like it from the first wave, but with addition, and you can press the button just like in the film. Uh, combat cow will be the first ever figure to be 12 inch, just like the accurate size from the Toy Story Terror. Uh, Mrs. Potato Head will have the sort of same features as Mr. Potato Head. And like I said, all depends with the licensing with Hasbro. And yeah, Ken and Barbie is sort of a repack from Toy Story 3, but maybe a better face sculpt. So in Way 4, we have Mr. Spell, uh, the Green Army Men, Etch, Trixie, and Gabby Gabby. You probably notice I haven't really included a lot of these Toy Story 4 characters or maybe Toy Story 3. It's just because Mattel or Finkway has already done a lot of those toys. And like we haven't really got a lot of these Andy's toys out for a while and uh, it'll be great what Mattel should do but hey maybe in the next wave they could start maybe doing a new uh, more of these Toy Story 3 and 4 characters. So over here we got the fabulous the singing Wheezy. Now this toy is actually got inspired by the, the stumming guitar Woody uh, back in 1999. And I think what would be cool is sort of having Wheezy singing with Mr. Mike's microphone. Uh, it will have the phrases like, you got a friend in me. Uh, and it's mostly like uh, bass for like kids. Uh, just because trying to keep the toys a bit diverse for younger audiences as well. As I remember when I was a kid, I used to love that Woody. And I think also Mattel was trying to make toys for kids and collectibles. Um, and hopefully this toy could squeak in somehow, but uh, the idea is it actually meant to sing uh, different songs. So straight from Al's toy band, we got the returning tour guide Barbie. And it comes with her very own car. Now this is going to be the same car from the tour thing when Toy Story 2. Uh, especially that scene when Rex was chasing potato, well, the toys. Uh, but yeah, this is sort of like a two pack and hopefully we should get a bit more updated uh, costume like just like in the film uh, and maybe a better face sculpt which obviously Mattel improves over the years since 999 uh, but yeah so this is one of the really cool two packs 
So over here we got the Pizza Planet truck uh, from various Pixar movies, uh, especially known in Toy Story 1 and 2. Uh, now this is going to be a remote control car uh, with hopefully with some LED lights and probably 12 inch or maybe 14 inch. Uh, so it's going to be quite a large uh, vehicle you can control on uh, with a remote. Uh, and yeah, um, I think this will be perfect part of the toy line. So here is my box design and it's basically a bit of a retro theme back in like a Toy Story 1 kind of style. Um, I never really liked the new packaging recently since 3 and 4 because it's gone very basic and I know they're trying to go modern with these like white packaging but I kind of missed the old days where it looked a bit more colourful and it's a lot appealing to buy. Um, but yeah, something about unique with my box, and especially in the back, every character or sh um, toy will have their own kind of movie or TV show cartoon. Uh, so you can see over here you got Woody's Roundup kind of drawing in the back, and maybe in Buzz's one he will have his uh, the Space Ranger show Buzz cartoon. Um, but yeah, it's it's going back to the the like the nostalgia days from the first Toy Story. And, and yeah, just kind of simply and colourful. So in Buzz's box, it's a bit different with Woody's. Uh, this time he's got the space theme uh, packaging, uh, especially inside the box. Uh, he's got a bit more features than Woody has, so you've got a bit of a diagram of what his toy includes. So this one will obviously include a communicator, the LED lights, uh, the laser. Uh, but yeah, it's sort of a very standard Buzz Lightyear. And you also get this uh, the Buzz Lightyear cartoon drawing, uh, just like how Woody has his Woody's Roundup. So here is sort of the same box design but with other characters. So you kind of got like the idea of it. It's sort of the same box design Woody has. Um, but Buzz uh, Zerg is definitely kind of different because it's sort of the same kind of style of Buzz. Obviously it's from Star Command. Um, one thing that uh, I think it could, I could change is that Prospect and Jesse could have the Woody's Roundup uh, background instead of Dandy's room, which probably made more sense. But I think for now, I was just trying to represent them as Toy Story characters uh, than anything part of the uh, cartoons. But yeah, um, pretty much colourful and simple. So, I saved two ideas for best for last, and this would be insane if. Mattel actually do this. Um, we know Finquay has probably stopped making these now and why not Mattel start bringing them back? So all the way from Star Command we got the Andy's Toy Chest fully movie replica Buzz Lightyear. Now this is going to be the most accurate Buzz Lightyear toy ever. It will have all the same features from the film uh, it will have his phrases, uh, exact same phrases from the movie. Uh, it will have the glow and dark, the communicator, the pop out LED wings. Uh, it will be very poseable and articulated. It won't be just kind of those kind of collection buzz. So I really hope they actually create this and make this one of the best buzz light figures they can ever make. And maybe they can sort of get the different head sculpts. Because uh, I know there's different kind of buzzes accurate faces so like some of these mini toys or the Marvel Legends maybe you can actually replace Buzz's face and with a different face sculpt so like the Medicon Buzz and Woody um, but this this toy is meant to be designed for collectors so it's not meant to be for uh, children uh, this is actually meant to be for actual collectors out there uh, so that's why there's two different buzzes there's one buzz for kids can play with and this is meant to be for uh, for the adults, uh, the real Toy Story collectors out there. Uh, but yeah, I think it's time. Uh, I know Mattel could do it if they wanted to. Uh, let's just hope they maybe make this one day. Uh, and I think this would be insane. I know Finkway are so sort of stepping away of the collection line. I don't think they're going to be doing it anymore. Uh, but I think Mattel has a good shot and let's just hope. And how can we forget the sheriff himself, Sheriff Woody? Now this is a very sort of similar to Buzz, uh, same part of these Andy toy chest replicas. 
Um, I only cleared Buzz and Woody for now because I'm just trying to make it simple. Um, but yeah, I hopefully this will do include the pull string, uh, the poly stitch vest, the removable badge, uh, and the stitched hat. Also, the, maybe the pull string will be a slow retractable uh, with the same voice box from the film, which would be insane. Uh, but yeah, like. Like I said, this would be an absolute dream if Mattel makes these, and I'll, I'll be so happy. <laughs> and I think all the toy collectors would be happy if they get something like this. So there you have it guys, and thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everyone who watched the first part, this definitely made me want to do a part 2. Uh, at the moment this is just a dream, and let's just all hope it becomes a reality. Comment down below what other toys do you want Mattel to make and like I said, maybe that could be on the list. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, please press the bell icon, check out more of my videos, uh, stay tuned for the live action Toy Story 2 project. But yeah, let's uh, hope have a good year and stay tuned guys.